Welcome back here to Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. A beautiful day for baseball. Game number two of our day as it is the Ole Miss Rebels taking on the Texas Longhorns. That's in there, strike three. Beautiful pitch. 96 miles an hour on the gun. Got it in there with a little velo. Got him on the outside corner. 85 mile an hour slider. And that is that. Those are hard to lay off. And that one's hard to lay off. 82 mile an hour pitch, swung on and missed. And just like that, Diamond mows him down after getting into a little bit of trouble. Just another easy inning for Diamond. Gives up a double, much like he did in the first inning. But he strikes out three straight. Gonzalez fires from deep short. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? What a play. <laughs> what? That's going to dunk in their base hit and score a couple of runs. And Ole Miss about to pad their lead. As the throw to third, not in time. Fly ball that's hit well to right field. Porter going back, looking up, forget it. That was about 10 rows up. When we were talking about Cam Williams' shot for Texas, yeah. well, Ole Miss had to come back. Well, we knew the power was there with Trey LaFour. Just a matter of time before it came out, it sure did that that particular swing. And but it's pretty neat. There's a base hit in the right field. Wood will round the bag in the third. They're going to keep him going. Here he comes, and Gonzalez is going to go into third. Head first slide, not in time, a triple. Add another run to the board for Ole Miss. And Texas at number 18. Good swing. Wow. Yeah, he he half froze him and half didn't. And the half didn't part put him in no man's land. Yeah, what a show from the the Rebels from Oxford. Wow. Erupt is right. 92 to end the game. And Mallets threw the hammer there. Well, an outstanding tournament all the way around for Ole Miss. When we saw some great hitting, outstanding starting pitching. And of course, the smooth defense, especially up the middle there. And boy, Jacob Gonzalez was fun to watch this week. And a lot of good things in store for Ole Miss.